Hey y'all, it's Sierra, aka Capricorn Moon Goddess, back with a quick reading. Hopefully this is quick. I say stuff is quick and then I end up talking a lot. So this is just, um, what is this person's karma for messing with you? Or are they going to receive karma for whatever wrongs they did to you? I'll try to do more of these so I can cover, um, as many people as possible because these are, um readings over the collective so there's the collective has a lot going on so this may just be one of several videos related to karma and things of that nature so for those of you that resonate with this video with this particular reading um so this person is definitely going to receive their karma the first card is the tower okay so we see this is destruction okay this house is falling apart and this person is trying to hold on for dear life okay they know that their reign is coming to an end and they just refuse to let it go this person has been relentless trying to come after you trying to block blessings for you trying to create roadblocks all of that stuff is coming to an end okay we also have the temperance card the high priestess and the queen of wands so with this temperance card that's telling me that their equilibrium is going to be interrupted okay things are going to uh get out of balance out of whack okay things are just going to start falling apart with this high priestess card their secrets are going to be revealed their true nature is going to be revealed they think they can hide behind this curtain but as you can see the curtains are opening okay People are going to start seeing them for who they truly are. We have the moon in this card also, okay? So people are going to start seeing through the veil that they put that they put up. They're going to see how jealous this person is with the Queen of Wands. With the Queen of Wands, it's also representing that it's going to be on display for people to actually see, okay? Now, she has peacock feathers, which... Um, Peacocks can represent pride. Pride can be good or bad. We should have a certain level of pride, but some people are too prideful. What do they always say? Pride comes before the fall. So with this uh, lady having her um, skirt made up of peacock feathers, pride comes before the fall. But not only that, we know that peacock feathers have a design that kind of look like little eyes on it. So everybody's going to see this everybody's gonna see this this is gonna be a public downfall okay knight of pentacles in reverse okay this is kind of representing grass isn't greener on the other side they wanted to take something away from you um, to have it for themselves and now that they have what they feel like they took from you which if they were able to get it that means it wasn't meant for you in the first place they took something that wasn't meant for you because it's not really that great, <laughs> okay? Like, I always use management as an example. I've never been the type that wanted to be in a manager role. I've always wanted to be just a high, well-paid employee. I don't want to be a manager. Even though it's a nice, shiny title, there's a lot that's hidden that goes into that. A lot of sacrifices they have to make. They don't necessarily get rewarded the same way employees do. So some people find out that they really, really didn't want to be a manager when they become a manager. That's the best way I could think of, like the best... Um, comparison I can think of so whatever this person took from you they thought it was going to be all good and they're realizing it's not what it cracked up to be now they're becoming bored with it now they don't want it anymore now they want to move on but now they're figuring out they're stagnant they can't move on they're stuck where they are with the magician people are starting to see how manipulative they are people are starting to see the trickery that they did if they talked badly about you people are starting to see who your true character is and who their true character is. And they're starting to see that all they were doing was projecting and all of the bad energy they were putting out towards you. They tried to tell everybody you were putting that towards them. People are going to see that, okay? We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So again, with this Ace of Pentacles, they thought they was taking opportunities away from you and keeping it for themselves. But really all they did was basically impact their generational wealth and their stability in a negative way. 
they're not able to progress okay they're stuck here just like she is sitting there looking what have i done what have i done what have i gotten myself into Okay, so this person is definitely going to get their karma. The Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, so they're going to have some financial issues coming up also. Um, so if they did something to mess with your money, their money is going to be messed with. If they did something to mess with your mental stability, their mental stability is going to be messed with. They're going to be off their equilibrium. If they try to expose you, they're going to be exposed. If they try to destroy you, they're going to be destroyed. Okay? So that's what I have for you all as far as if this person is going to get their karma. And if so, what is it going to be? So please stay tuned. I'm going to have more videos coming up. And this is Sierra, a.k.a. Capricorn Moon Goddess. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.